Wendy, you've had numerous amount, amount of roles from the Proud Family to the <laughs> Steve Harvey show. Wow. To <laughs> Dear White that. People. Uh huh. And of course, Miss Tasha Mack on the game, the one yeah. that we love yeah. the yeah. most. <laughs> so, being a part of um, the Mahalia Jackson story, what was different? What was it that stood out to you the most about her role? And what was so different about it from other ones that you've done? Wow, Mahalia Jackson, number one. It's, it's very interesting because today is the day that Jackie Robinson broke the color line for Blacks in baseball. And what she did with gospel music, uh, I feel like is a wonderful parallel to start right there. She, um, she was, wow, she was unstoppable. She was uncompromising and she took gospel music to the next level mm -hmm. and made it not only appreciated by African-Americans, but by the world. Mm -hmm. And so you cannot help but embrace her for who she is and what she has done in terms of that type of legacy. Now, this particular role, um, I play uh, Mahalia's be best friend, Celestine, and um, ironically, she's a real person, you know? So I did do the little bit of research that I could to find as much as I could on her, but she was a confidant, she was a rock, she became her manager. Um, as well as her assistant and accounting and confidant and everything. And I mean, it was just the two of us, even by her bedside when she passed. Mm -hmm. So that's a tremendous um, amount of weight. And it's a, um, it's a wonderful departure uh, from a lot of the characters that I've played and the roles that I've done, especially by it being a period piece, by it being something a little bit more dramatic. Um, I just, I had a really, really great time. And Let Us See is just, mwah. she's delicious. The director, Denise Dows, she and I go back over 30 years. So I'm just so proud to see one of my friends, family and colleagues doing something that um, is very different, you know, for her as well. So I was just surrounded by, you know, a, a plethora of, of comfort and love and people that I've known forever. So I know that was a long answer, but yeah. <laughs> What was your favorite part about being on set and contributing to the life and legacy of Mahalia Jackson? Wow. I want to say one of the greatest things, it, it was a, it was a, wow. It was a movie that started out to be like maybe 10 days, but we were very ambitious and shot it right in the midst of COVID. So mm -hmm. we got shut down like maybe two or three times. So what started as a week turned into almost uh, a month and a half process. But through all of that, everyone that worked from wardrobe to hair to makeup to um, especially our producer, Erica Nicole Malone, she did a phenomenal job in just making sure that everyone was taken care of. Mm -hmm. So I feel like the spirit of Mahalia was there, you know, and just making sure that every nuance from the hat, the gloves, to the dresses, to, you know, um, even, you know, uh, all of the actors were catered to and that we made this as special as it was. Our trailers, it was an independent film that had a studio production value to it. Mm -hmm. And you don't get that often, you know, especially you know, it's producers of color and is a, is a woman. And she was on a mission to make sure everything was first class. So that is um, also a great takeaway that I have. And one of my best moments, yeah. And it felt like family because so many uh, of the people that were in wardrobe and hair and makeup, I work with, with my theater company, Amazing Grace Conservatory, shameless plug, but we're celebrating our 25th year. And it was such an intrinsic um, meshing of both worlds. And it was just wonderful. Mm -hmm. 